This little tiny Polly Pocket with a light up car. Oh, this one's cute, but the face is kind of funny. Hello, welcome to another YouTube video. I totally forgot to make a video letting you know what the plan was, but as you can see, I went garage sailing. So this is sadly probably the last day I will be garage sailing for the year as I live in Alberta, Canada, and winter's coming up and garage sale season is coming to an end. But luckily I did find some good things to end the season with. There was a little hall that had a bunch of tables set up and I did find quite a few things in there. Lots of little tiny things like my scene dolls, McDonald's toys, pins, my little ponies, a cutie little tomater watch. If my um, nephew was older, that would have been so cute for him. But yeah, there was a cutie little Care Bear lamp at one garage sale. Also, Mighty Beans. I'm such a sucker for Mighty Beans, so that just made my entire day. I really came close to getting that Toy Story handheld game, but it was kind of ripping off like the picture, so I decided to just leave it. And look oh, how nostalgic the Land Before Time DVD game. Stop it. If you had that, please let me know. My dad ended up picking some Coca-Cola stuff to add to the antique booth. I I believe he got some of the trading cards, not trading cards, sorry, playing cards uh, that I just had shown there. This garage sale honestly was really cool. I wish we got here right when it opened. There might have been a whole bunch more that we would have been interested in, but they had just like so many vintage items. VHS tapes, Coca-Cola, Disney, whatever that hamster VHS was. That was so interesting. This was really cute. Uh, pocket radio giving 60s vibes. Then my dad and I actually went to Kiko Collectibles here in Edmonton, Alberta. It is a vintage shop. They have so many things as you can see here. Lots of Barbie, Monster High, even Bratz. This is um, what you can expect at like a vintage shop. Like the prices are a bit higher, but that is all right. Still so fun to just come and look around. It's kind of like looking around at the antique mall, but it's its own private little store. But yeah, there's Digimon, Pokemon. Look at these, a Wizard of Oz little Barbies. And then... Oh, I turned the corner and they had a whole bunch of high school musical ones that I've never seen before, like the couples. Troy, Gabriella, um, Chad, and Taylor. And then look at all the girlies. Like, stop. I was so tempted. I didn't know how much it was, but I was scared to ask. I thought it would be a little too expensive. And look at Hannah Montana doll, a concert doll. They even had Twilight. Like, honestly, they really had everything here. There's something for everybody. Star Wars, Star Trek, oh, Darth Maul, my boy, Polly Pocket, sealed Polly Pocket toys, Littlest Pet Shop sealed toys. Like, this is literally heaven if you love nostalgia. Again, it is Kiko Collectibles here in Edmonton, Alberta. Um, yeah, I was just having a blast looking at all of this. They even had like Toy Story, like things I've never seen, like things I never would have probably ever come across to be honest so they must source their stuff online or something like that but yeah just a walk down memory lane Lord of the Rings oh my gosh love freaking Lord of the Rings one of my favorite trilogies ever and they just had a ton a ton of it I've never seen so many Lord of the Rings items in my life and the fact that they're all in such good condition as well Aragorn and Legolas like you honestly doesn't get better than that it actually did get better because look indiana jones stop it i literally love indiana jones if you know me you know i have a giant puzzle poster of indiana jones hanging on my wall and they also had pirates of the caribbean i honestly wish i had a pirates of the caribbean poster beside the indiana jones one and jimmy neutron sealed i've never seen a sealed jimmy neutron item really like that like an action figure or anything so yeah we had a blast looking at everything i did actually pick up something that you'll see at the end and i was really confused by what this harry potter thing was like is it a dice i couldn't tell what it was and yeah this is just that's what dreams are made of, that sealed Polly Pocket with glitter outfits. And we have some twilight to end the day. Good morning, it's the next day after garage sailing. I'm gonna show you what I found. First, 
This is what I got at the store that I was filming in. So it's called Kiko Collectibles here in Edmonton, Alberta. They have a lot of items there, as you saw, from Indiana Jones, Harry Potter, Littlest Pet Shop, Star Wars, Digimon, Pokemon. Like, they literally have everything you could possibly imagine. I mean, definitely could be more. I didn't see much Disney Channel. They did have High School Musical and Hannah Montana, but... They didn't have too many like Nickelodeon things or like no Lizzie McGuire, but that's okay because it's hard to find. But I did get this Hannah Montana doll. My dad was kind and he actually got it for me because he was buying Star Trek dolls for his collection in the box. And he was like, pick out something, I'll get a few. And I said, so I chose this Hannah Montana um in concert action doll i'm very tempted to take this out of the box because it has a bracelet and a little poster right here look this is the back of it miley stewart is living a double life by day she's just a normal teenager who goes to school and hangs out with her best friends but Miley's hiding a secret. She's also a famous pop star, Hannah Montana. She sings the other side of me, but she doesn't work anymore. Anywho, oh my gosh, front row. Okay, cool. So yeah, picked this up. What do I have in my collection from her already? The only ones in my collection I have is Hannah and Lily down here, but like they're the summer dolls. So it's not like a concert doll, which is so cool. Um, I do have Miley Cyrus in the Hannah Montana movie already over here. Um, so I need to figure out where this is going to go on my shelf. Uh, that's something I got to figure out later, but I think it's so cute. I'm so excited about it. Moving on. Two items I got garage sailing. I did pick up this Scooby Doo plush. I forgot to put new batteries in it. Oh, cause it's kind of working. Kind of, so I'm gonna test that after and let you know if it works, but it's holding a little like Frankenstein monster bag, has a little mask. I love the skeleton outfit. It's just like, uh, I love like Scooby-Doo Halloween stuff, so precious. To be honest, I have no idea what this is. I picked it up because I wanted to know more about it. It's called Chixos. Chixos. You spray them, so you mix them, match them, spray them to stay. So you get two Chixos, a spray bottle, and an instruction booklet. I couldn't figure out what year this is from. Oh, 2009, there it is. Um, this is the back of it. I don't know what it means that you have to spray it. Does it stick it together? I might open this. I might not. I still need to look up the value of this, but I really want to open it up and figure out what the heck this is all about. Let me know if you like had this growing up. Something I'm really excited for that I do have in my collection already is this Mighty Beans keychain. Ah! I literally love I love mighty beans so much this is from 2004 these are the little beans you can get um the one I got is this one right here this is the bean so it just kind of goes up and down this little track is this the same one I already have no I have a different bean I have a ghost bean I didn't realize that I literally have scream not my favorite horror movie Stop it. I actually didn't even realize I had the Scream one. Um, that's why that's staying in my collection. So at first I was going to buy this to like open it up and actually have it as a keychain. But part of me is like, no, I think someone else would really appreciate this still sealed. So I think I will uh, keep it sealed and probably sell it. Oh, it shows you like different ways you can do different tricks with your little bean. Pretty cool. I did get a little Bart Simpson toy to add to Loot Scoops and some more silly bands for freebies when you order from my shop, which is good because I literally am running out and I was kind of freaking out that I didn't have any more. So 
Now we've got some more, and then I picked up a handheld Uno game just for my own personal collection. You guys know how much I love handheld games. I have Yahtzee, I have Deal or No Deal, now I've got Uno. Sucker for a handheld game. A quick twist hair tool. Um, this is from 2015, so it's not that old. I've sold one of these on my eBay before. Um, so it's not a braider, it literally just twists your hair. But when I was looking at it, it looked like it was pretty new. We'll see, like, does it have... It actually might be new. Yeah, because look, it still has all the ties and everything and they're still in the plastic. So awesome. That is so cool. So I think I might add this to my eBay. Oh, love it. Literally love hair tools. Okay, let me know if you've heard of these before. They are Shelly, not Kelly. Shelly, Barbie's little sister. Um, I don't ever remember hearing Shelly. So please, if you've heard of Shelly, let me know. I'm so confused by this. Like, why haven't I heard of it? It's from the year 2000. Is that not Kelly? Like, why is it Shelly? I don't understand. I could just like, honestly, the memory's gone of it and this could be legit but yeah so we've got shelly outfits very interesting still sealed then i don't know why i keep finding these everywhere i go my little ponies just a whole bunch of my little ponies these ones are actually really cute some are extremely sparkly like this one um and there is a little hello kitty that's the also like weird part about this I found um, My Little Ponies and Hello Kitties not too long ago, and I've been using them for Loot Scoop, so that's funny, I found it again. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of My Little Ponies for more Loot Scoops. Okay, that's actually everything I got garage sailing, but my dad did pick up some stuff for me at a thrift store. So, so nice of him. I'm honestly just so grateful that he wants to help me out with the booth and that he loves doing the booth with me and he just looks for stuff for me and I'm really really just uh, so so thankful that he um helps me out with this um so there are a whole bunch of Care Bears <laughs> this one is like a little sleepover one I cannot I think this might be like the best one I've ever seen, not gonna lie. Like if I were to keep one for my collection, I think I would keep this little sleepover one. Look, a little star is coming out of the heart. I'm obsessed. Then a Christmas one. It's like a little elephant Christmas one. I might've had this one before, but I don't really remember. Another cute one is this bigger one, purple with a, a heart and stars on the stomach. That is so, so cute. Um, all the tags are ripped off, so I don't know what year they are. Um, this one's iconic. I have the bigger version of this in my booth, and this one actually um, is supposed to sing as well, so we will test that out later. Then we've got this one, classic. I feel like this is the one I always, always find. This one also, I'm pretty sure this was in my booth or is still in my booth. I can't keep track of which, one, like, which ones are gone and which ones are not. Um, and last but not least, we have, oh, this one's cute, but the face is kind of funny. <laughs> Why is the, the eyes are kind of weird on this one. I don't know, something's not right. Anywho, but I love the design on its stomach, like a little jack-in-the-box, but it's a star. Okay, um, yeah, precious. So that is everything. It was actually not... A horrible uh, garage sale day, Mighty Beans, My Little Pony, Hannah Montana, Scooby-Doo. So yeah, garage sale season, I feel like is sadly done for me and my dad just because he is gone like every weekend from now on. So we can't go together on Saturdays and I don't have access to my Facebook. It got hacked and disabled. So I can't look up garage sales on there. And that's the main source where I get um, addresses. So so yeah, it might be over for the season, but I hope you guys had fun watching us garage sale almost every weekend this summer. Um, I'm so excited for it next year already, but it's gonna be such a long wait.
Okay, it actually works already. I didn't even have to put new batteries in. I just didn't think to push it. That is not the voice I expected to come out of this thing. <laughs> okay, I just put together some of the Littlest Pet Shop bundles because guess what? These are not fake. Everybody commented on my latest YouTube video that these are not fake and the holes are for accessories. So I believe all of these are generation five. So we have this little bundle, this bundle, this bundle and then this one has a few i think gen two or three that i added so half gen five half two three not sure but yeah so so happy they are not fake okay i have some orders to pack this american girl magazine a my little pony this little tiny poly pocket with a light up car i'm obsessed and then somebody emailed me actually about a Disney Channel bundle and they're having a birthday party. So I included like this Hannah Montana, um, a gift box, and then this High School Musical all access book because I thought her party guests would like to look at that. Then I actually happened to have some Hannah Montana. These are like posters you can put on your wall, like party. What are, I don't know what these are called, but they're like plastic and you can hang them on your wall for decoration. I happen to have some Phineas and Ferb little loot bags. Then I thought if they have a DVD player, they can throw on this on the road with Miley. Got a Hannah Montana chapter book, a little change purse of High School Musical, and a Hannah Montana cutie pin. For the Disney Channel bundle, I'm actually also gonna throw in this That's So Raven board game because she did ask for That's So Raven but I don't really have anything and this has been sitting in my room for months and I'm like, you know what? She would play this with the party guests. So I'm throwing this in. Okay, I'm about to pack up this Littlest Pet Shop online starter pack. Somebody purchased it from my eBay shop. I have some more orders. The first one is Bear from Bear in the Big Blue House. Oh, I'm so excited for him to go to his new home. And then one of my Halloween mystery loot scoops. This one's my favorite. It has a crazy, or sorry, a kooky pen and a crazy bone. Here's a close-up of the My Little Ponies I got at this one at garage sale. I love the sparkly ones. They're so shiny. And this clear one, these are probably some of my favorite minis that I've found. If it's up to me, you'll all